Hi guys, it's Trains by Perry here, and as you can see, it's uh, we have a box, and uh, it's July first, twenty twenty three, so that means it's Canada Day. So it's sort of like uh, Christmas in July, I guess you'd call this. But what's in the box is more con more more towards uh the u.s independence day which is july 4th which is in a, a few days so happy july 4th to anybody from the u.s watching this hope you have a great day as well anyways let's have a look at this box now this box came from otter valley railroad in tilsonburg ontario the great people down there did me a little bit of a favor and sent me this up. So I want to thank them for doing what they did. They're watching. They know what they did. So that's cool. Anyways, we'll get into this. It's well taped. I'll tell you that. I think that no, I'm not. I'm opening the wrong spot. That's why it's not opening quite correctly. Okay, we're gonna get her now. Yeah, that's almost a blooper. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you do have a safe uh, Canada Day. I just came off the road, so. There's lots of people out on the roads there tonight. Going everywhere as fast as they can. So you got to take it easy, guys. Okay, we're getting there. There's a thingy. Oh, look at this. Ah, uh, what's it says? Thank you, Perry. We hope you have an amazing day. OBR team with a little smiley face. And they sent me another Otter Valley pen. Only this one, it's a kind of a pink one, which is all right, too. I got, I think, three now, all different colors. So that's kind of cool. So, anyways, here we have all wrapped up in bubble wrap, and it's got peanuts and stuff. Bubble wrap's always good. Have around if in case you gotta send something somewhere. So, uh, here we go. That's what we got. A Union Pacific number forty. 15. Now, if you're thinking, hey, 4015, that's real close to 4014. You're right. Now, this unit is now being used behind the big boy 4014. Uh, they always run with a locomotive behind there. So, this is what this is the unit that's doing it now. And uh, it's been all redone, it's fairly clean. And they're running their excursions with that. Now the big boy does have uh, MU capability for the locomotive, so they can run the locomotive from inside the big boy. If you know what I mean by that. So let's have a, a real quick look at this and see what we got. So we got the usual exploded Diagram here of the locomotive, all the parts and pieces that you could ever want to make one. We got warranty stuff here. Ah, sign up for Athern News. And we have the Operator's Manual and Sound Guide Book. It's always handy to have too in case you need that. Okay, so we'll open this. I'll put that up there. Put that up there, and we'll slide this open here. Very nice. 
Doesn't look like there's any pieces falling off of it anywhere. But I can see, sometimes you can see them if they're falling off it. But it looks, this one looks all right. So I'll just open this up. And these uh, just came out from Athens. This is their latest re release, basically, of their SD70s. Uh, in case you want to follow that. So let's have a, I'm going to take this foam out of here for now. And maybe one on this side. And there we have it. Ooh, here we go. It's out. Yeah, okay. So, and this one too, they, uh, they've had the uh, trucks painted silver, like the only Union Pacific used to paint some of their trucks silver in days. It's got the PTC antenna on top. It's also got a green anti glare patch on the nose. Uh, they even did the uh, mismatched battery doors here. And the brake wheel is black. Uh, it's got the lightning strike Union Pacific paint job. It has no flag. It has the wings on the front. And it's got MU hoses, all the usual stuff there for Matherin. All the uh, grab irons, lift rings, everything's there. Horn, all the stuff. It's a very nice looking locomotive. And I will be running it tomorrow at some point testing it out and I have to program it so that's it for today and once again happy Independence Day happy Canada Day and have a trainific day and uh, keep watching because there's going to be some more stuff like this coming and I noticed that there's some uh, new people just subscribe to my channel I want to thank them for subscribing and hope you uh, enjoy the content. And once again, have a terrific day and I'll talk to you again soon.